are talking about a woman right now who sues after going bald mm. and why the Buffalo Bills cheerleaders are picking up their pom-poms this season. Wow. Attorney Sumas is back to give us some insight on the legal stories making headlines. So welcome back. Happy Friday. Very good to be here. So here's the deal. A woman says the treatment left her bald. Yes. We have some pictures of her before the treatment. Okay. And there she is before the treatment. She's now suing for $15 million, but there we go. The case is not as cut and blow dried as it seems. But where are the bald shots? Well, I gotta tell you, this really makes your hair stand on edge hey or, or not. <laughs> but she, she, her allegations really make no sense. What she's saying is she spent $250,000 to get hair replacement uh, uh, surgery, but it wasn't a doctor. She went to a, a licensed cosmetologist and they just tried to put in some hair extensions. She also has a history of pulling out her hair. Oh. Now, now the, the defense the defendant makes a lot of sense in terms of what they say happened. They say that this woman came in and invested in an alternate business, and that's why a $250,000 check was exchanged, and that business went uh, awry, and that's really what's going on here. The plaintiff really doesn't have a hair to stand on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, some splitting yeah. ends here. <laughs> um, uh, this, this pulling her hair out, I mean, is this like a medical thing? Is she just, is she yeah. got some a kind of... A lot of people, because of stress, I well, don't know those people, pull their hair hair out up. all the time aye, and aye, aye. oh let's yes. not do that today all right no, we no. wouldn't know never, let's move on never. to some news about raymond roth the guy who faked his own death yeah. with the help of his son in long island now i guess he's not getting the father of the year award anytime soon I, I gotta tell you i'm from long island it's not that bad that you have to fake your death but the worst part about this is that he involved his son what he did and he's an idiot because what they did the son and he exchanged email uh emails between each other setting forth what the plan was and you know obviously the authorities went they took his computer they found these emails and so not only is dad going to jail but also his son is going to jail his son a young guy is going to spend a year behind bars because his father probably pushed him into and there's no there's there's no mercy for the son because i the, well, i look at this i feel like the son was duped well, duped by dad well the son you know, it's sort of like that, that you know, Scooby-Doo. He would have gotten away with it, but then the son tried to jump bail. Um, he tried to uh, escape yeah. away when, when they were still investigating and, and when after his initial arrest, he left the jurisdiction uh, without any permission. Yeah. So yeah. not a what lot a of sympathy was shown for him. But I, I still feel bad because this dad railroaded him. Yeah, who gets the Lifetime movie rights? Okay, <laughs> uh, finally, the uh, Buffalo Bill... <laughs> Uh, Buffalo Bills cheerleaders, the Buffalo Jills, are not going to take to the field after some of former members have filed suit. What's the yeah, deal? Yeah, instead of raw, it's it's raw. Um, these there are five Buffalo Jill cheerleaders who are claiming that they were not only sexually abused but also inappropriately treated. They weren't paid their fair wages. New York is extremely strict um, that uh, it's very hard to be an independent contractor where you could get paid less than minimum wage. They say they were underpaid. They were not paid the minimum wage that they think they should have been. They were required to, to pay lots of things out of pocket and they have a really good case. They're yeah. going to make a lot of money against uh, against um, you know the people who own the management company and even the fact that there will no longer be this management company doesn't protect anyone. These All these claims happen prior to the fact. So, uh, and this isn't the first set of cheerleaders that are actually suing no, the reader. Yeah. That's a few months ago. Exactly. And there are at least two, two other, other teams. Uh, teams that are being sued by their cheerleaders. I mean, I don't get it. These football players, they make, make millions. millions. Yeah. And, and Why did they have two? to? Yeah. From experience, I was an AFL cheer cheerleader for the arena football team, and I made $75 an hour okay, for the game. Okay, that's shocking that and you they didn't were a cheerleader and I was not. Yeah. Yeah. Shocking. <laughs> shocking. But it's true. They don't pay for practices or appearances. So, yeah, yeah. I can understand these well, girls being very Well, when you're upset. a mathlete, they pay... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> moving, moving on. I love moving that. Right. On. She Thank got a you. mathlete reference yes. in and some always good legal logic, too, from uh, Sumos. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Thank you. You too. Go, team, go. Go. Rah, rah, rah. rah.